Yuk på Vesterbro, Westbridge Christmas, episode 21, tilgivelse eller forgiveness or thoughts. So, another episode I love, though I will criticize the offensive elements of it. Spoilers for these first 21 episodes, and let's dive right in. So yeah, quite fun as they're saying, you know, they're, they're quite bored at the start of the episode. So they're being very careless with, like, stuff that's dangerous. And, you know, Danny is turning off the TV, and he throws the, the one of the... I'm, I'm not 100% certain what it is, but it's some kind of artillery thing. And Stuart has this, like, rocket, the, the tip of a rocket, and he's, like, banging it into, you know, just, yeah. And, <laughs> like, Danny... You know, first he, yeah, he's talking about the the scarves, and he calls it a Parmesan scarf, which you know, it, the Danish pronunciation of partisan and Parmesan is closer than English. And they're they're shouting slogans out the window at no one because the cops only arrive at the end of the episode. And I, yeah, it's quite fun how bad Danny is at the. <laughs> the slogans and yeah when, <laughs> very funny when when Stuart says you know it's just it's not any fun to to shout something out a window unless you've been sleeping off you know sleeping it off and you wake up inside a hearse <laughs> yeah then it's yeah and Danny asks, you know, Stuart wants to, to perform some song, asks for a request, and Danny says, can it be something romantic? And I guess we get as close as Stuart is capable of to something romantic with this very fat phobic, like, it's essentially a bunch of your mom jokes, you know, which, I mean, I, my God, I know we Danes are sometimes a little behind when it comes to, like, trends compared to America, but, like, I you know I tried I tried googling when when did people last actually seriously use your mom jokes like there's a there's a college humor now dropout from 15 years ago I I will admit that one I do find quite funny though I obviously acknowledge it's yeah fat phobic and misogynist the the yeah, and that was also, that was relatively early, like, YouTube kind of thing, so, yeah, um, and, and, yeah, Google said, you know, it, there, there was some back in, like, I didn't even remember, but, yeah, I guess there are your mom jokes in the first Nutty Professor, the, the, of the Eddie Murphy ones, not the first, like, original, um, yeah, Right, and, and I, I will say, I did not expect this. According to Wikipedia, um, there's a 3,500-old Babylonian Akkadian stone tablet that has a your mother joke. So, yeah, apparently those are very, very old. Yeah, see, yeah. Richard Pryor incorporated Yo Mama jokes in some of his stand-up routines, contributing to the joke's popularity. That's, yeah, and, and yeah, white men can't jump. That's back when, when those were, you know, yeah. Richard Pryor, R.I.P. You were unbelievably funny. But yeah, um, yes, and, and yeah, Randy shows up and mispronounces some words. And the, the, yeah, um, she does forgive Danny, and Danny kicks her, and it's because she was about to step on, they say it's a landmine, is that actually, it looked more like a, a toy of a landmine, I, I feel like I've, the landmines I've seen in fiction have all been bigger than that one, but maybe it's, you know, whatever, baby's first landmine, maybe, which might also make it baby's last landmine. The, the, yeah, but, you know, the, the, 
and they do a joke about her, you know, her, um, the, her breast augmentation, and, right, I like, you know, and, and, yeah, um, Stuart says, you know, uh, yeah, he does a flashback, and, and his father says, you know, God forgives us all. However, in this house, it's not that softy who's in charge, you know, and he's about to hit him. And then he says, oh, by the way, this is a fire poker, which I think is because they got to set and they were like, nobody's going to be able to tell that this is a fire poker. We better announce it, you know, which fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't have been able to tell, you know, usually when you see a fire poker, it's near a fire, possibly poking. And, yeah, Stuart can't quite bring himself to, to say, you know, oh, my father really loved me. He keeps, you know, adjusting it and ends up, you know what, he hit me really hard, and that deserves respect. And the cops arrive, and the, <laughs> yeah, you have a joke about, you know, oh, we're not saying this again. Well, we're probably going to say it again, but then we're going to storm and, yeah, the speaker tells them, you know, tune back in tomorrow. And the cops are like, and, and the cop with the megaphone is like, tomorrow. And the speaker's like, mm -hmm. yep, that's tomorrow. Oh, boy. Uh, who wants a pizza? <laughs> Which, yeah, I, I do really appreciate this. Again, you know, it's not the first time the show gets, like, meta, but... Yeah, I mean, a lot of these, ad yeah, I guess you don't know if you don't watch Advent calendars, which apparently we only do here in, in the, the Scandinavia, but yeah, they, a lot of them, they'll they'll end on, on a cliffhanger and then, you know, pick up at that exact, I, I, I'm aware that there are cliffhangers in other, you know, yeah, other shows. But, yeah, some advent calendars, it's like every episode ends on a cliffhanger that, yeah, it's, uh, anyway. Um, but, but yeah, it's, it's very much coming to a head. You know, we only have three episodes left. The, the Stardust family are ready to fight, and the system has arrived.